Hey there guys and gals, this is Barbie Figueroa and thank you so much for watching my video. So I'm about to leave to go to a dental appointment really quick and I thought it would be a great uh, opportunity to share with you how not only I got over my fear of the dentist, but why I chose the dentist that I did and what it has to do with personal branding and positioning yourself online for the exact people to find you. So if you want to hear more on that story and if you are in business for yourself, if you're a solo service provider, maybe you're network marketing or maybe you are just an individual that is trying to position themselves online for people to find them, then stay tuned to this video because I am going to share with you the exact thought process that your potential client is going through so that you can meet them where they are and intercept them while they're doing their searches for you. So keep on watching. <laughs> for watching I truly appreciate that you're being here please go ahead and like this video and subscribe to my channel I truly truly appreciate you so let's get this out of the way okay yes I have a horrendous fear of the dentist and um, for the longest time I was just freaking out about going to the dentist okay I'm just I'm just putting it out there I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one um, and uh, so you know I had to you know, it was that time I had to make an appointment. I had moved and hadn't been to the dentist in a while, admittedly. And so I had to, I had to go, you know? And so, um, what I did was, is like, you know, I am looking for a specific type of dentist, right? Because I'm a chicken and you know, I had a really bad experience when I was a kid. I had to get a lot of dental work done. I had four teeth pulled out uh, prematurely uh, just so that I could get some braces on. And anyway, your teeth move if you don't keep your retainer in, but that's a, that's another topic for another day. But anyway, so you know, I had a lot of uh, trauma. I had just a lot of negative experiences attached to you know, going to the dentist. So I was looking for a dentist that was going to be very gentle with their patients. But what I ended up doing, okay, was I actually went into Google and I typed in something like um, dentist that specializes in patients who have fear of the dentist, something like that, right? And, um, and I put it a search in my area because I didn't want to drive really, really far because I just, you know, I wanted something that was quick. I could just go, come back and just be done with it. And so anyway, I found this dentist, right? And so I was like, okay. So I went to his website and I was like, all right, looks good, you know, whatever. So then I started reading the reviews on his website, right? And oh my God, the reviews were glowing and almost every single body was saying the same exact thing. If you ever fear the dentist, go to this guy. He's amazing, he's wonderful. He's going to be like, uh, you know, like, you're gonna actually look forward to going to the dentist. Now, I don't know if that's true, okay? I don't know if I look forward to going, but I have less fear and anxiety around it now, right? After I uh, found the website and I read the testimonials, um, I did one more thing. I Googled the doctor, right? <laughs> okay, so far, let's retrace our steps. I Googled, I found the website, I read the reviews and now I'm Googling the doctor. Okay. So I Googled the doctor and you know, nothing but rave reviews, great bedside manner, very gentle, very sweet, very nice and all this stuff. And I was like, okay, I'm going to make an appointment with this guy. Right. And so I made the appointment literally five minutes from my house. And I was like, okay. So I went and honestly, I was petrified. I was scared. I was sitting in the waiting room, but the moment I walked in, it felt different than a regular dental office. It, it almost felt like I was going to a spa, right? Um, and then when I saw the dentist for the first time, boy, everything was legit. Super nice guy, super friendly, very accommodating. Don't worry, we're gonna take care of you. The guy is amazing. His staff was amazing, you know, with this big baby here. Um, and I had a, a great experience, even though I had to have, you know, like 
um, a not so fun uh, dental procedure, it was not as bad as it would have been had I gone to uh, just any old dentist, had I not done my research, had I not, um, you know, really took the time to take all these steps, which was specifically look for a specific type of dentist, right? Find them on Google and go to their website and read more about them, right? That's number two. The third thing I did was read their testimonials, okay? And then I Googled the doctor, right? So I took really four steps before making a buying decision, right? And so then just going to them and then them matching up that experience to what I had already, you know, found out before the appointment uh, and their, their follow-up uh, is also excellent. I was like, this is, this is my dentist. They're great, you know? And so I'm going there today in a little bit for my, for my four month follow-up. Uh, so anyway, so as a business owner, what, what could we learn from that, right? Well, what are we looking for? If you are in a business right now and you want to uh, bring in more clients or bring in more of the, the right clients, bring more of the clients that you can serve at the highest level, that we really have to think more about how we're positioning ourselves online, right? Um, I just literally went through a rebranding, almost done, uh, to relaunch my own website because I wasn't really coming across um, as, you know, I really wasn't uh, communicating what I did for my clients in the right way. Uh, but after, you know, speaking with a coach and getting more clear, you know, I've been taking the steps to do that. So, you know, what is it that you can learn from even the way that you search for people to do business with? How, what can you learn about that to position yourself online so that people enter certain keywords and find you and they want to buy from you instead of, you know, another, another, you know, business that does something very similar to you, right? So what set my doctor, my Dr. Freddie, what, what set Dr. Freddie apart is that, you know, he dealt specifically with people who have a fear of the dentist and they have a certain bedside manner and they have a certain patience and they have a certain way that they are with their patients. So that won me over and that that's what makes him different. The way he treats his patients is what makes him different. He's a great dentist, but he treats his patients with love and care. And that's what I needed. That's what I was looking for. So how can you take that and apply it to your own business? Well, listen, I think we're all growing in this process, but you know, when I first got started online and I was positioning myself online for people to find me for different like business opportunities and stuff like that, I was using certain keywords and then I was creating certain videos and people would find me, right? So after all these years of all this experience that I have, I actually created a, uh, a five day uh, how to sell without selling challenge because see, Dr. Freddie didn't sell me on his services. The testimonials did, the information on his website did, uh, the Google search did. No one had to say, hey, listen, I'm, let, me, let me sell you on all the reasons why you need to come to this dentist. No, they had all the information out there on the internet for me to browse, for me to make a decision, and for me to end up deciding, you know what, I'm gonna pick up the phone and I'm gonna call this guy because he's the one I want to go to, right? So that is, a perfect example of selling without selling, right? So if you want to learn how to do that and position yourself, how to, you know, uh, have your website online and write content that people want to read and put testimonial, the right testimonials on your site. Um, if you want to be able to have people come to you instead of you chasing them and be that person that people actually want to do business with, then go ahead and sign up for my free five day challenge. Um, it is a five day intensive video training, uh, especially designed for beginners so that you can be like my Dr. Freddie, right? And position yourself as a person that people actually, you know, are searching to do business with. Okay. So if you want to check that out, go ahead. There's a link right below this video. Anyway, so hopefully this helped and hopefully this gave you some sort of aha moment or light bulb moment. I think that we can all learn even, uh, you know, I've been online for a really long time, but, uh, I think, you know, there's always something to learn from someone who's doing it even better than you. And for sure, 
as a as a as a dentist he's amazing but as a business they're doing a great job of positioning themselves online uh, as being that that you know go to dentist that people want to be treated by so i think they did a stellar job and i gotta get there in a few minutes myself so anyway hopefully you enjoyed this story hopefully you can find some value in it that you can apply to your business and if there's any way that i can help you please go ahead and just check out the links in the description box i'd be more than happy to help you launch your business online so anyway this has been barbie figure thank you so much for watching Make sure to visit my website at www.risemarketinganddesign.com and I will see you on the next video. Bye.